We've seen how fire services are using virtual reality, but what about other first responders? Here at the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, they're hard at work on how police might use virtual reality in their training. Number seven, Ferguson House. Caller reports sounds of a violent disturbance. Oh, okay. wow. screaming, I can shouting. see some feet already. So I don't think that, that people would expect to put the police and virtual reality together. Why is it so important that the police are interacting with technology in this way? You can replicate one-off events. So a one-off event, which is, could be a dangerous or hazardous environment, you can actually re recreate as a one-off. And people would never, ever get the opportunity to rehearse that. But in VR, we can. So we can give them that vehicle, we can give them that opportunity to do a one-off scenario and do it safely. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. OK, I'm going to see if the woman is alive. She's obviously taken some pills. There's a heartbeat here. I can definitely see already how it could be used to, in the way that a lot of games are, really, to, to open up your mind to possibilities around crime, why people may have committed criminal activities, those kind of questions are definitely there already. Yeah, that was more enjoyable than the fire one, I think, which perhaps shouldn't be my takeaway, but I am um, like, oh, I could go back into that world, whereas the fire scene, I just wanted to get out.